Hi guys. All right, so from either up there or down there, whatever you guys can tell from the title that this is the final DNC video. I am six weeks and six days post DNC. So let's talk about my wonderful HGC levels. Now to bring everybody completely up to speed, so let's we'll discuss my first DNC. My levels at one week post DNC were 250. Then they were 85. Then I had that where they went up, but that was a little funny. Sorry, I just wasn't paying attention where I was going. Yes, they went up, but oh, so they went from 85 to 212. So they had me do it a couple days later, and it was actually 40. A couple days later, it was 11. And then I went a couple days later, and it was 2. So basically, by four weeks, yeah, it was four weeks and one, two, three, four, five, five days, four weeks and five days, I was zeroed, and I was a two. All right, so let's bring up speed to this DNC. So I had the DNC done, I was at 35,000. So one week passed, I was at 895. Then I was a week later at 440. A week later, I was at 280. Then a week later, I was at 135. Then I got my period, so the next week I was at 43. I was so excited because I was like, yay, I should be done. So I went a couple days later. I was only at 20. So then I went where it would have been exactly my weeks. I was going on Thursday. It was 15.1. Oh. Then, of course, I had my doctor's appointment, and my doctor said, let's wait a week. She's like, you should definitely be zero. She's like, you probably will be at like a one or a two on today, being that it's six weeks and six days past my DNC. Um, and, you know, I told her, I said, well, I said, some people on Facebook said, oh, I can take, you know, up to 12 weeks. And she said, no. She's like, 12 weeks is not normal for a DNC. She said, for natural miscarriage? Yes. Yeah. Not a DNC. She said, that's not. She's like, we get a little concerned at six weeks. Um, she said, a natural one can take a little bit longer. But not a DNC. Well. Hold on. Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm still recording. Sorry. All right. Yeah, so she said not normal. So anybody that thinks that it's normal, you've had a natural one, or your doctor um, monitored you very closely because that's what she said. They get a little concerned when it's, you know, taking its leisurely time like mine was. Um, but she said she was definitely very happy with, oh, uh, oh, sorry, where my levels are now. Um, but, so, um, I asked people on Facebook what they thought, and so, yeah, I know some of you guys are going, oh, they went up. No. <laughs> I think if they went up, she'd be concerned. Or I might be pregnant. That would be great. Um. Remember, we won't know if I am pregnant until testing date is set for October 7th. Yay! I'm so happy. So excited. Um, so, yeah, so the 7th, I will do my test, um, my pregnancy test. So, without further ado, because I know this is really, like, I know I have some people that have been, like, watching it. Okay, so five is considered negative. I went a little bit later than I normally do, meaning time-wise. It was 4.98. Yeah. The nurse was like, really? She's like, if you guys, if you went your normal time, she's like, you probably would have been at like 5.1. She's like, I've never seen somebody come in that close. <laughs> She's like, when we want it to be negative, she's like, I've seen a couple like that for pregnancy. She's like, and that was just like not even, she's like, some of the tests, they test for pregnancy while they do the tests that way. But anyway, she said, but I've never seen one come that close. She's like, that is the closest I've ever seen. She's like, I've been a nurse for years now. <laughs> Felt pretty proud. Uh, so I am filing negative, but because I did ovulate on Saturday, 
they want me to hurry up and go get my um, my second round of testing done on Saturday. Um, so that way, if I do get pregnant, yeah, they'll know. And my your pregnancy hormones will. Oh, when it affect the results of it. So, I'm all done. No more D&G videos. None. Uh, so, my tiny little one. My dear. It feels good for it to finally be done and it be done done. Um, even with having my period and that, it was it was nice to have it, but it was definitely very stressful because I've been waiting for it to go down forever. I love it to go down as yeah. So um, thank you to everybody that has supported us through this whole funky time of what the heck is my body doing? Why is it taking forever? Just thank you to everybody. It, it does mean a lot to me. Um, and really, feel free to share your miscarriage stories with people. Uh, it really, it's kind of sad that it has to be a taboo. Nobody talks about it. And it really needs to be talked about. Um, Nobody sh you feel alone when you're going through it, but when nobody can talk about it, it makes you feel even more alone. Alone. So, um, but yeah, once again, thank you to everybody for your support. I love you guys. Um, and it does it does mean a lot to me to have you guys support me. Um, so, um, I guess that's it for this DNC update. So I'll talk to you guys later with just cycle updates. And hopefully a pregnancy update soon. Alright. Bye.